And now we go back to Nick Blumberg, who has spent the day in Englewood on the city's south side as part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Nick. Thanks, Paris. We're here now with Sana Syed of the Inner City Muslim Action Network and Aisha Butler of the Resident Association of Greater Englewood. Welcome back to the show, both of you. Uh, so we're standing here in this new market, which has been open for a couple months now. Uh, Sana, why was it important to bring this kind of a place to the neighborhood where maybe folks didn't always have access to this kind of groceries? Yeah. Um so limited access to fresh produce uh, in neighborhoods like Inglewood has been a huge issue and Asia talks a lot about that, uh, you know, about food apartheid. But really the result of that is that you have high rates of obesity, you have high rates of heart disease, you have high rates of diabetes. and. Many, many residents in these neighborhoods do not have um, cars, so act, act, having close access to be able to walk to a grocery store and get what you need to prepare a healthy meal is like a make or break deal for a family. And you've also had, a, you know, the, the health and wellness center, the, the food pantry nearby for many years. How has the demand changed over the last couple of years during COVID? So we started that work like in the heart of the pandemic. And this is the legacy of that food distribution effort that we were doing very intensely, actually along with Rage and with Teamwork during that time. So that pantry is in now partnership with the Greater Chicago Food Depository. And um, it's a shopper style pantry. So you can walk in and uh, take a look at everything that's there and actually get what you need and actually even get what you need based on your health conditions. Um, and what's been nice about that is that, you know, even over the past year, this past quarter, we've noticed that we've done, we've served as many households as we did in the, in the entire year last year. So in just one quarter, we've, we've hit, we've sort of, you know, broken our records. Uh, we have more pounds of produce that we're uh, distributing every, every time, which is a good sign because now that means that residents are getting more produce and cooking with more fruits and vegetables than they did before. Um, yeah. And Aisha, I know, you know, there was recent data that came out from the City Department of Public Health showing the city's overall life expectancy dropped, you know, and obviously Englewood has had that life expectancy gap yeah. for many years. What sort of work can organizations like yours do to help close that and, and boost that life expectancy? I mean, um, I, we, we see in the data, we know the data. I think it's projects like this, you know, we, we have, we're used to corner stores in our, in our community. And I think what was important for us is that we need a variety of different type of corner stores. They shouldn't all have horrible food at the front of the store or in the back of the store. Um, we should have a variety of stores like this. And so I think eating differently, changing the culture of folks' mental health, and um, doing a lot of the work that many of our partners of Go Green or Racing do is to me one of the ways that you could help with life expectancy. Like for I work out every day, we have a gym here in Inglewood, so I'm hoping to increase my life expectancy every day. And I think just being a model and living in this community, it's getting more people to want to do the same. Well, Aisha Butler, Sana yeah. Syed, thank you both so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Yeah. We'll have more in just a little bit with one of Englewood's older people, but for now, back to you. All right, Nick, thanks very much.